Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince with another Hearts of Iron 4 Let's Play episode as Nationalist China. So we've got our push going here. Keisuke Fujie. Uh, looks like there's a territory there that nobody has taken, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it myself. Hopefully I can push through here faster, because that is what I want to do. What? They actually landed behind us? Okay. Interesting job. Interesting thing, Japan, but I'm not gonna let you. I'm just not gonna let you. And I've got the garrisons ready and yeah, they're here, they're garrisoning the ports and the coasts and everything here, so that's good. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. But we're still going on with the offensive, so yeah. Now again, this is the problem we gotta deal with, which is this these units right here and they're attacking me but they're not gonna do anything so we're gonna take back all this land that Japan actually stole from us I hope you guys join me because I hate being you not being with us you know? okay three military factories gotta produce a lot more infantry weapons so yeah we're producing not so much but our production efficiency is pretty good so, we're pushing them back here. Very good. Still gonna do that. I mean, wow. Look at this guy. He's got so many things. He's killed six. He's amazing. He's an invader. Wow, yeah. Yeah, that's really good on this part. Militarism, though. Really join the Axis. It's kind of expected. We gotta get military youth though. And now we have 28 million manpower because of fascist stuff. So yeah. Yay for fascism. Malta Ribbentrop Pact. Okay. This is good stuff. And now I'm gonna push them back here. So goodbye. Goodbye Japan. Nice knowing you. Nice knowing you indeed. So here there's a problem, but it's no big deal really. Huh, <laughs> look at them here. Battling it out, and that that's gonna be a battle that takes ages to finish, so... Nothing to worry about. We still have the planning bonus here, but it's really not enough to... Difference. Okay, modify government. What can we take? We can add a political guy. But mm, do we really want this? I don't think so. Tank designer. Do we want tanks? I don't think so. Do we want ships? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, the old guard. Political power gain plus 10%. No, that's nice, but no. Naval reformer. No, no, no. Aircraft designer. Light aircraft. Hmm. Hmm. Air research time. Let's take the light air company because that's always a safe option. Wow, all this manpower is insane. 30 million. We've got so much manpower that we can work with. But yeah, that that's China for you, I guess. That is China for you. Let's see, do we have any of these that are in no theater? Nope. This one is in battle. I wish it would actually show me where the battle is. But, you know. Okay, we're pushing on in there. Wow, say say goodbye to Japan. They just got stomped here. That's because we have like 80 divisions working uh, on these battles. Okay, this is a problem because they have like this unit here. And where are they? They just got vanquished on that side where we... Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna attack them. Then I'm gonna keep pushing through here. Yeah, Fuzuo is gonna be important to be taken. This guy right here has some organization left. But he's gonna have none very soon. He's just getting completely wiped. Okay, we're getting attacked here, which is, which is actually ideal. The fact that we're... Uh, getting attacked because they won't win this battle actually won't oh well, we have lower org but still we're gonna win 
we need some more steel from Soviets. So Soviets, please give us more steel. Gotta fix this uh, right there. I mean, we are actually taking some attrition, but it's really is just fine. I do wonder why we have like this attrition. Hmm. I wish it would show me. I can't remember how I did it. Oh, we're uh, winning battles here very nicely. Again, Puzo is a problem, and what are they actually gonna? Do they actually want to finish me off here? They might. I gotta stop here and not lose my org that fast. So yeah, mm, I could potentially save this unit if I'm very quick. That is. I'm actually, that's very rough. I think I'm gonna lose that unit anyway. I just got infantry offensive though, but still. Hmm. We want the large front offensive. And we just... Okay, we took that before we lost the unit, so... That's nice. Anyway, over here. Attrition is massive here. What? Yeah, massive attrition going on here. This is uh, quite the attrition. Oh, it's 37 out of 36, because there was some bottleneck. South Korea gotta improve the infrastructure and gotta attack Fusu. Goodbye, Japanese. In multiple combats, so get destroyed. Now, these guys won't even reinforce because they're in no shape to fight. So, we've killed a lot of Japanese. Wow. Double the amount. So, yeah, we made it back. We got the. We turned around the war. Basically. Oh, really? We have some landings here. Interesting. Okay, I have to support Pusan. That's important. No! We lost Pusan, but it's no big deal because they won't be able to do anything here. Meanwhile, Japan is. Yeah, Japan is Japan. Okay, well, there goes that one territory. And now these guys here have the Cryption advantage. Really? Okay, that's fine. So, goodbye enemy. There you go. These guys here should die eventually. By eventually, I mean soon, very soon. Okay, now we just gotta get more military factories on the way. Okay, this is very nice. Good job, Communist China. Now, why did we lose this territory? Precisely. Why did that happen? Okay, we have no orders assigned here. Which is, you know, fair. Call this the garrison. We just got the radio detection. So, yep. Yeah. We can go for some other good stuff. But this is all 1941. Well, I kind of need to... I might need to repair my guys fast anyway. So, I should probably just try ahead and uh, take that, you know. But, what I want to do right here is... Once I take that, I'll change. What I need. Okay, there we go. It's all very nice. Like, I'm gonna have to defend the... What you might call it? The ports. Yeah, that's what I need to do. So to do that, I'm gonna need some garrisons. Okay, well, we've basically won this, so... Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Okay, 
So, we have actually taken over stuff, and we have 31 million manpower, and we have, well, 40k every month is insane. Manpower gain, that is, wow. Now we're at 31 million. But anyway, back to the real stuff. Well, what I want to do is... I just want to send a lot of troops yeah, to the Chinese theater one. No, first, first of all, everyone here should be Sanjiao Jun. Everyone here should be Sanjiao Jun, basically. Now, for the garrisons, I'm gonna select something like, let's say yellow. Yellow and it's gonna be this, yep, that sign. So, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the garrisons. I'm gonna give orders to garrison the coasts. But again, as you can see, the garrisons not working that well. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, there's that. And now where's the cav? Because we should have some cav, right? Okay, these guys have nowhere to go, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave all the, all the orders and where's the fallback line? There it is. I'm gonna make a fallback line right here. I'm gonna send them all there. Yep, precisely. That's where I want my army. But we're probably gonna want to form a front line against the Soviets eventually. And we should push into some territory soon, but we can't because Oh, they're a puppet. We can't even... Hmm. Ooh, here it comes. Well, we just got military youth going, so we gotta get paramilitarism. Here it comes. Yeah. So, it's 24th of August. Let's see. Let's see if Germany can finish them by the 1st of September. I do wonder. All joint allies will kind of expect it. Anyway. I'm gonna send like 22 over to this over here. Yeah. If we have 50, is that enough? Nope. I don't think so. So what are we gonna do? Nice. We got a ton of fascism. Look at that. Fascism. Wow. Very good. Okay, what else do we need? It's not 1940 yet, but we can get some support battalions. Very important stuff. Should be the engineer company, probably. Engineer company is a very good company to have. And actually... These guys that are over here... They actually... I don't even need cav. Mm, well, actually, I do need cav. My bad. Hmm... Yeah, these guys are gonna be on the coast to handle things. Massive combat with a 20. Forty-four percent here. Sixty-two percent. Okay. Then I'm gonna hmm no, oh, this is fine. Does he have anything? He still has just defensive vitrine. And a lot of them almost done. So yeah, that's very nice. I'm gonna need a couple more. Divisions that is. Okay, so if I send five, 67. Hey, that's good. No, I'm gonna need. Let's have 100 divisions on the. Yeah, on the border, right there. 70. Okay. 78. 94. Uh, now it's 97. And 100. Yep, 100 divisions on the as garrisons. Should be a good thing. It should work out okay. I mean, we definitely have 
Yeah, we're gaining massive amounts here. It's good. We're still building a ton of military factories. This is going to be necessary. And we don't have as many civilian fa uh, 43 civilian factories are something at least, but hey. Yeah, I'm gonna send all of you guys on the fallback line, because that's where I want you to be. Meanwhile, all the garrisons here, we should have more than enough. Yeah, look, we almost have one garrison per, per coast line now. This is very good stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. However, can we add support anything? No, we cannot. Motorized division because we researched motorized. So that's good. Hmm. We gotta start making some ships in air though. But that's gonna take some time because we've got all these companies that need researching. Okay, so we're being attacked here. But yeah, I... That's too funny. Nice try, Japan. Trying to break through here with... I mean, yeah, it's some nice uh, units, but hey... It's like 10 divisions landing. It's not enough against the, the brutal uh, army of the Chinese. We just have so many troops on the field that you'll never stop us. You never will. Never. Okay, so I guess it's been decided. We need even more divisions. <laughs> to guard the, yeah, the front line right there. Not the front line, you know, but yeah. Let's send like a couple more here. Yeah, we still have places to send them, you know, <laughs> to garrison the area here. We still have some ports even that are not fully garrisoned, which is amazing still right now. Okay, they're still attacking here, but they have barely any boosts. See, I'm going to start defending myself here. But the damage they've taken is just massive. And yeah, Shanghai is totally well defended. Nobody will push. What? Oh yeah, very good stuff. Even more recruitable pop, which means even more troops for for us. And the attack here, well done, guys. I think they just called it off, and I would expect them to. Because if they didn't, that would be a really, really bad situation for them. I need... Yeah, I, I just, I guess all these divisions are kind of necessary to defend us against, uh, yeah, against these guys, so, hmm. Still, I need a ton of infantry, and four four lines is, I guess, enough. Military police, though. Yep. Need the suppression bonus, so right now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add the military police over here, and yeah. That's really good. So, the next thing, we got all the garrisons ready. Modify government. What do we need right now? Ship designer. Oh, well, research time. Tank designer. Okay, I think it's gonna be time for ship designer. We just got the large front offensive. Very good. So now we just need the human wave offensive, which is gonna drop combat with our infantry even further. It's going to mean that they're going to be even better in combat. Well, not even better, but yeah, we can have even more of them. So yeah, going the full infantry, no artillery for the, for the lol strat as China. Quite funny stuff, really. Let's look at the army tab here. Look at all the unassigned troops, because as you can see, there's plenty of them. Actually, I do want to assign them somewhere like here. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make yeah, a new garrison thing here. Nice. Against the red thread. Well, we have all these fascists, which is amazing because we won't need a coup anymore. Like 
this. So yeah, there we go. I guess I can make them something like green. Yeah, there we go. And I can set the garrison area. Ooh. Wow, Poland took a very long time. It was in September. They just took insanely long, really. Like, wow, Poland. Wow. Okay, we just got paramilitarism done. Which means we can take ideological fanaticism. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. And still so much manpower. Crazy stuff. We're gonna need more cab. And man, if that's not a lot of infantry. <laughs> we still need even more infantry equipment, but this is the amount that we're making per day. I think, isn't it? It should be, right? Yeah, look at all this infantry equipment per day right now. This is, this is massive, really. Okay, I'm gonna delete your orders. I'm gonna form a front line here up against the Soviets. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do with you guys. I'm gonna make you red. Because you're up against the red threat, right? But anyway, that's enough for now, so thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on social media, and I'll see you next time.